Welcome to how you would die on every planet explained using Minecraft. Let's start with the planet closest to the sun and carry on to the coldest planets at the far edge of the solar system. Number 1. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, but if you think that means it's hot all the time, think again. At night, temperatures drop to a bone-chilling minus 180 degrees Celsius, freezing you instantly while daytime turns the place into a literal furnace at 430 degrees Celsius due to the planet's lack of a substantial atmosphere. Instead, Mercury has a thin exosphere, which is insufficient to trap heat or regulate temperature, and because there's no oxygen here, suffocation is inevitable without a spacesuit. Besides, you'd have to deal with insane amounts of solar radiation, because Mercury gets blasted with seven times the sunlight Earth does, and there's no atmospheric shield to protect you, giving you instant cancer. To top it all off, Mercury is constantly bombarded by meteorites traveling at mind-blowing speeds, meaning even a tiny rock could snipe you dead. All of these scenarios would only happen if you could land safely on the planet in the first place. Well, because it's very tricky thanks to Mercury's uneven terrain full of craters and cliffs, adding the fact that the thin atmosphere provides little air resistance, making it difficult to slow down a spacecraft and increasing the risk of high-speed impacts. The safest area to land would be in the Terminator Zone, the region between day and night, where the temperature is less horrible, but don't get too comfy, because the temperatures can change faster than your ex's mood. Speaking about exes, I talk to mine using Polybuzz. This app lets you talk to anyone, including your favorite characters and there are literally over 20 million characters in the app. Let's try searching Minecraft. Enderman? Let's talk to him. Wait, you're a girl, or are you a trap? Polybuzz also has AI voices for each character. Trade. Yes, you give. And I will go- Dude, why do you sound like that? Can you give me your ender pearls? My pearls? Why do you need them? Because I want to go to the end. The end? <sighs> That's quite the journey. Are you sure you're prepared? Just give me your ball. Okay, now let's talk to Alex. What are you? You don't seem like a monster. I am the only human. Or am I not? I am Steve. Hold up, is that Sonic and Shadow? What are they doing? Why are y'all cuddling? Bruh. Bro, you are. Um, can I join? Yeah. Anyways, you can also create your own characters with custom voices and unique personalities, just like how I created Diome. Hey you there, subscribe to my YouTube channel. He said that, not me. But I think you better do what he said. So download the app using the link in the description and use my code DIUM to unlock premium features. Big thanks to Polybuzz for sponsoring this video. Number 2. Venus. Venus is similar in structure and size to Earth, and is sometimes called Earth's chaotic evil twin. Despite being further away from the Sun compared to Mercury, it is the hottest planet in our solar system, with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead, and definitely you as well due to its thick atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide creating an intense greenhouse effect, trapping heat, and maintaining surface temperatures of about 450 degrees Celsius. The atmosphere is so dense, moving in it would feel like wading through pudding, a superheated, deadly toxic pudding. Your spacesuit won't hold for even a few seconds because the pressure is 92 times higher than Earth's, meaning you'd be crushed like the Titan submarine in no time. And those gorgeous yellow clouds floating around? Yeah, they're made of sulfuric acid, which could quickly corrode your spacesuit if you get caught in it and expose your lungs to this deadly gas. Moreover, those clouds can rain down concentrated sulfuric acid, which will certainly melt you like a candle. Below the dense, acidic clouds, the surface is covered with numerous volcanoes ready to erupt at any moment, making sure you receive a warm welcome. And don't forget the planet's insane lightning storms and hurricane force winds that can hurl you around, just in case you thought things couldn't get any worse. Number 3. Earth. Our home. The only planet where you don't need a spacesuit or radiation protection. It has liquid water, oxygen, food, and a comfortable atmosphere. All the things that make life possible. However, 100% of all human deaths took place on Earth, so technically it is the deadliest planet in the solar system, or even the entire universe. And when it comes to dying on Earth, you could meet your end in countless creative ways, including death by gravity, natural disasters, attack by wild animals, and dumb people, just to name a few. So remember to stay safe out there. Number 4. Mars. Mars is the most Earth-like planet in terms of habitability. But don't let that fool you. It's still out to kill you. Daytime temperatures can be as comfortable as 20 degrees Celsius. But once the sun sets, things get really cold, dipping as low as minus 130 degrees Celsius. 
Next, the atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide and is so thin that if you were exposed to it, you would start to boil as gas bubbles formed in your body. Mars also has significantly higher radiation exposure than Earth, about 50 times more, and since Mars has no magnetic field to protect you from deadly cosmic rays, you'll probably die of radiation poisoning sooner or later. You also get to deal with Mars's infamous dust storms with wind speeds of up to 100 km per hour that can last for months and cover the entire planet. The fine, electrostatically charged dust would clog your lungs, tear up your equipment, and possibly poison you with toxic particles. Even with the latest equipment and protection, your chances of survival long term are slim, and you're better off just waiting for Elon Musk to terraform the planet. Number 5. Jupiter. It is the biggest planet in the solar system and a gas giant, meaning it has no solid surface. So any attempt to land would involve falling indefinitely into the planet's deep atmosphere. But before that, the primary obstacle is the extreme radiation levels. Even at 300,000 kilometers away, the radiation would start penetrating your suit, and it's game over. But since that's a boring outcome, let's assume you have a hypothetical suit that can block the radiation. Jupiter's gravity is 2.4 times stronger than Earth's, meaning you'd be falling incredibly fast. As you enter the first layers of the atmosphere, you'd hit a layer of ammonia clouds at a freezing minus 150 degrees Celsius. The winds here are insane reaching speeds of up to 482 km per hour, making controlled descent almost impossible. You'll also get to experience the wildest thunderstorm in the solar system, with each lightning bolt strong enough to power an entire city. Get struck by one of them and you're done for. If you manage to traverse down about 150 km through these top layers, you'd reach the deepest point ever explored, where no man-made probe has ever survived. Beyond this point, things start getting darker, while both temperature and pressure begin ramping up fast. If somehow your spaceship still survives, you will reach Jupiter's inner layers, where the gases here turn into a supercritical fluid, and you'd encounter metallic hydrogen, a bizarre substance that will trap you in forever. But if you manage to get even deeper, you'd hit the core, where temperatures skyrocket to a ridiculous 24,000 degrees Celsius, about 4.5 times hotter than the surface of the sun. And forget about trying to escape, because at that point, you'd be completely vaporized. Number 6. Saturn. Saturn is known for its iconic rings, but those rings are exactly the problem. They are made out of shattered moon debris with sizes ranging from small dust to huge chunks the size of a house, so avoiding smashing your spaceship onto any one of them would be a real challenge. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a gas giant without a true surface. Instead, the planet is mostly swirling with gases and liquids made of hydrogen and helium. When you reach the upper atmosphere, you'll encounter hurricane force winds blowing at 1,800 km per hour. You're basically in a planetary blender. Trying to enter from the North Pole wouldn't be any better. Over there lies a massive hexagonal storm large enough to fit two Earths inside. Although the wind speeds here are much slower at 322 km per hour, this region also has ammonia clouds and temperatures that can plummet to a frosty minus 250 degrees Celsius. As you continue your descent, the gases gradually transition into a dense liquid state. The extreme pressures and temperatures deep within the planet would crush, melt, and vaporize any spacecraft. But if you're able to reach the center of Saturn, you'd meet its molten, rocky core. Temperatures here are more than twice as hot as the Sun's surface, with pressure roughly 1,000 times greater than Earth's, making approaching the core an impossibility. Number 7. Uranus. Well, not even I want to enter Uranus. Uranus is a gassy ice giant with an atmosphere composed of mainly hydrogen, helium, and methane, giving the planet its distinct blue-green color. Like Saturn, there are rings made out of countless space rocks. Dodge those, and you're in for a ride. Uranus's atmosphere is chilling and full of toxic gases like methane you do not want to breathe in. If there's even a tiny breach in your spacesuit, you would be dead within minutes. Temperatures here drop to minus 220 degrees Celsius, making it the coldest planet in the solar system. And if the cold doesn't kill you, you'd eventually get hit by literal diamond rain being flung around by 900 km per hour winds, turning you into minced meat. Beyond the outer layers, Uranus's atmosphere transitions into a dense, icy interior, primarily made of water, ammonia, and methane. You just sink continually into the layers until the absurdly strong pressure squashes you and literally turns you into diamonds. Out of all the planets, dying on Uranus would probably be the worst, because you'll just end up becoming the butt of the joke. <laughs> Number 8. Neptune. Honestly, Neptune is just Uranus, but even worse. It's the farthest planet from the Sun about 30 times farther than Earth, which means it's very dark, cold, and lonely. 
Like Uranus, Neptune is an ice giant with an atmosphere composed of hydrogen, helium, and methane. The outer layers are ridiculously cold, but if you go further in, things heat up real fast, and eventually the temperatures reach a staggering 7,000 degrees Celsius. Neptune's most extreme feature is its winds, which are the fastest in the solar system, capable of reaching supersonic speeds of 2,100 km per hour. That means you'd be hit with gusts faster than the speed of sound and get tossed around like crazy. Let's hope that your stomach can withstand that. Add in the diamond rain just like in Uranus, and you've got yourself a planet that's actively trying to delete anything that comes near it. Number 9. Pluto I know Pluto isn't classified as a planet anymore, but it's still a planet in many of our hearts. Now let's talk about how you would die on Pluto. First of course, the cold. Pluto is so far away from the sun that its surface temperature hovers around negative 240 degrees Celsius. Your body heat would vanish so fast that you'd become a human popsicle instantly, just like Arnold from the Magic School Bus. Next, Pluto's air is basically a vacuum with a sprinkle of nitrogen and methane. Without a spacesuit, you'd pass out from oxygen deprivation and your blood would start boiling due to the near zero atmospheric pressure. So technically, you'd freeze and boil at the same time. Zero out of 10 will not recommend. 